Hi, I'm Sean Higgins, editor of Spire3D.com, the Spire3D newsletter. I'm here at ILMF 2018 with Wei from uh, Septon, who um, wants to talk to us about a new LiDAR sensor. What, what can you tell us? Uh, yeah, uh, hi everyone. My name is Wei. I'm running the business development for uh, Septon Technologies. Uh, actually, what you see here is uh, the newest uh, version of our Sora 200 sensor. So, uh, spec wise, uh, we're looking at 200 meters and 200 hertz of scanning. Uh, uh, frequency um, and here is an example of how our sensor could be mounted uh, with uh, the M2 uh, two, uh, two one, uh, two one zero. It is a very light weighted uh, lidar. Uh, it's only 550 grams. It's uh, the industry's lightest uh, lidar sensor, and also it produces uh, a lot of points. Um, so with longer distance and higher frequency, we enable drones to fly higher, faster, and longer. Um, and cost-wise, this is a very competitive. Even with a dev kit, is we're looking at only a few thousand dollars, and with uh, volume, uh, the cost will uh, come down quickly. So, yeah. so you say with volume, the cost will come down over time. So this is part of a this is part of a long-term plan to make, I assume, smaller and less expensive lidar sensors in the future for UAV mapping. Would you say that's true? Yeah, correct. So. Except our advantage is we use the same technologies to build for autonomous driving cars and also for the UAVs. So as uh, all the markets, as the volume uh, go up, then we can uh, propagate this benefit to everyone, to all the application and every customer. Uh, so actually, uh, the volume uh, that takes for our sensor to go to lower cost, we're not talking about millions of sensors. We're talking about maybe a few hundred or even thousands of sensors. We can uh, substantially, you know, uh, reduce the price of, of the sensor. Uh, this is you can compare this to uh, CD players in the in, in the early days. CD players individually, you you, you know you you would need to spend maybe uh, fifteen hundred dollars per CD player. But now, if you look at it, it's like less than twenty bucks for computers, right? So LiDAR is the same thing. Uh, you have optical component, mechanical component, you have electronic component. Uh, we will see that uh, the LiDAR cost will come, go through a similar uh, price reduction through volume. So, so given your involvement in the autonomous vehicle market, I mean, what, what, brings, what brings the company into UAV LiDAR? It seems like a lot of the, uh, the, the market heat, if you will, is on autonomous vehicles. And maybe, maybe could you? Yeah, uh, definitely. So we actually see that the product requirements from uh, UEVs and uh, autonomous driving coming together in a way. Uh, both require long range, uh, high accuracy, uh, high frame rate, um, and also uh, initially, I mean, uh, currently, the lidars they're doing doing line-based scanning, but in the future, with the momentum of uh, UEVs, uh, does. Uh, uh, delivery uh, goods and maybe people eventually so they will need to have perception uh, capabilities and we see that uh, as the future that could uh, uh, you know uh, we see requirements from both market converge together yeah so so you would say that the UAV market is only going to, to grow then as uh, sensors like this become smaller more affordable and the integration becomes better it's Yes, absolutely. So um, actually, um, we uh, we have been shipping, you know, uh, bigger boxes a few months ago, and now uh, this is uh, the current sensor, and it will become smaller and cheaper uh, very quickly. We're talking about months, not years.